Hello and Happy New Year 2015. I'm Abby Frankmont and uh, we're here today just to have a little bit of fun with a few things we found around the house and uh, you know some spinning action. I've gathered up a couple of random things from around the house to see if we can use them for spinning. For our first try I've got a bottle cap, a candy cane, and a fork. Well I'm gonna start with this fork and see what we can do. So Hmm. Well, you know, it's flat, and so it's kind of weird for twirling, but what the heck. I, I do have these tines in it, and I guess I can kind of wrap around through there, maybe tug things out a bit, and then see, and then I'm going to try twirling. You know, this is just not the easiest thing ever to twirl, and it's kind of hard to get things in here with the... It, the fork makes it kind of splitty. Not loving the fork. Well, I mean, there's a hook right here, right? So if I just hook some of this fiber in, if I just hook like this, and I just twirl this in my hand, oh man, so that's kind of okay. The candy cane's all right. Now, let's see, I'm gonna wind on down here, come back up, twirl up here. All right, I guess I'm getting a little bit of mileage out of this candy cane thing here. Seems a little slow though. Now I'm going to twirl it like, hmm. Yeah, I don't know. The candy cane's okay, but it's kind of hard to keep twirling. And it's got this great big, this great big hook. So it kind of feels very juddery, shuddery when I spin. But I guess the candy cane in a pinch can kind of do the trick. Hmm. Well, for this, I would probably have to use the wrapping method. I'm wrapping. I'm wrapping, I'm wrapping, and now it's, hmm, hmm. Okay, now I gotta unwind this carefully. Man, I am not getting much twist in here wrapping this around this bottle cap. Okay, the bottle cap's kinda slow going. It's also very lightweight, so even if I do sort of get this started, and it's slippery, so even if I do sort of get this started, well, you know, twirling it, yeah, not loving the bottle cap. Now I've got more things. Uh, I've got a pen, a Swiss Army knife, a 9-volt battery, and uh, my travel corkscrew, you know, just in case. Um, we just found this around after New Year's Eve and all. I'm going to start with the 9-volt battery. Uh, the method that I would probably try to use for spinning with a 9-volt battery would be the wrapping one. So I'm going like this, and I'm wrapping, and I'm wrapping, and I'm wrapping, and I'm wrapping, and I'm wrapping. Now I'm going to kind of unwrap, and see there's a little bit of twist that's gone in there. Yeah, it's a little on the slow side, but bit by bit I would be able to get some yarn made with this... Uh, with this method. The, the, the added heft that the 9 volt battery provides over the bottle cap I think is an advantage in this. Well, what about the Swiss Army knife? I mean they're good for everything, right? I could just use that wrapping method the same as I did with the 9 volt battery, but maybe there's something else. Maybe, I mean maybe there's something, ooh look at this, now it's got a hooky doodad. Well I'm gonna just finger spin myself a little bit of a leader and I'm gonna catch that in this hook. Oh, it doesn't stay so good. Catch this in this hook. Oh, it slips right out. Well, hmm. So maybe this hook is not so awesome for this. Man, this is a uh, slow going. Back spins real fast. Hard to set in motion. I'm not sure this would be any faster than using the, twir the, the wrapping method. How about the pen? Well, similar to the Swiss Army knife, we can conveniently hook stuff right in here and hook our fiber right in there to get started. So I guess apparently choosing the right kind of pen and go like, oh man, it doesn't even, uh, it's like nothing. This doesn't even have the oomph to twirl at all. This is spinning stupid. Well, maybe I could roll this on my thigh. 
and twirl. And if it stays put, so if I roll this on my thigh, I can make some twist come off the end of it. You know, the form factor of this is not ideal either. It works okay rolling it there, but it's eh. So this would work again with that wrapping method like we were talking about before, where you wrap and then come off the side, wrap, and then come off the side, wrap, and then come off the side. Yeah, that works. Kind of slow going though. Corkscrew? Well, I mean, it's got this hole all the way through it. I bet I could just put my fiber through here and then start spinning. Yeah, again, really not getting an awful lot of spin out of this. And then rolling it on my thigh, again, same thing, not getting very much spin. Um, so I don't know, let's see, what if I take it apart and I open it up and I put in this cross piece here that you know, is also relevant to how it works as a corkscrew for its actual intended purpose. And now I've got this cross-armed thing down there and sort of a hooky doodad pile of stuff up here that seems kind of slippery as I'm trying to attach fiber to it. This seems a little like maybe I should cram it in there more. Whoa! All right, I'm going to try just catching some of this. And I, obviously the problem with the corkscrew here is going to be getting started. So man, this is very slippy around here. All right, so now I think I've got this. Other than that, it seems to keep wanting to come off of where I've secured it. Let's see what I can do if I kind of wrap coming all the way up like so. All right. Hey, look how much better that spun though with, uh, look how much better that spun once I made it into a cross-armed thing instead of a very central thing. So, potential for the corkscrew. Okay, so maybe I'm really not thinking outside the box enough. Uh, that corkscrew so far is the strongest contender, but what about this paper punch, hole punch, or this flashlight? Let's see. I'll try the hole punch first. I'm gonna just pull off a strip of this fiber, and hmm, hmm. Hmm, so look, when I squeeze this, it clamps. So let's see, if I put this in here, so that like, as if I were gonna punch a hole in it, kinda, and then I grab hold, ooh, it holds pretty good. So all I need to do now is find a way to make it stay holding on and to, huh, so hmm. I mean, it does have this thing that I can kinda catch on, which is the punchy part, but you know, this is not, this is not very twirlable. Okay, not super twirlable. Hard to find a good way to set this in motion. Nope, doesn't work with a thigh wall. Just kind of scrape along my jeans. Not so awesome. So, yeah, I, you know, if my life depended on it, maybe. Flashlight. Smooth, sleek, does have these kind of grippy surfaces on it. Let's see. I'm gonna, huh. I'm using the wrapping method now. Okay, now you kind of come off the side. Well, you know, because of the wide diameter, this is actually much slower going than the pen. And it's hard to set, it would be hard to set in motion. Oh man, yeah. No, it's kind of, it's too heavy. It's too heavy, too thick. Not, not an awesome spinning tool. Well, what about the cordless drill? Maybe. It's very heavy, so probably not a good spindle. I mean, this must weigh two, three pounds, maybe more. I don't know, it's pretty heavy, and so I don't think it's going to make a very good spindle. But uh, on the other hand, it does have this motor, so, you know. Oh, yeah, rotation power! Yes, this must be, there must be a way. Must be in the wrong hand. Huh. I don't know. You know, the thing is, I've got to find a way to attach this here. 
Oh, wait, you know what? Check that out. Oh, yeah, it's like you, you poke things in there and then you tighten down this chuck and it holds, th it holds stuff in place. So here I am now with a, oh, dude, dude, power. Okay, so let's see about that. I'm gonna wanna get this started for one-handed long draw spinning. And I'm gonna do that by finger twisting a leader. And then I'm just gonna take it and I'm just gonna tie it for now. I'm just tying it right here. Okay, so now let's see. Oh, okay, so then maybe I'll come down here and do this. Whoa, whoa. but I can get used to this. It's like it works. So here's the big question. Did the heavy power drill bring me any more benefit than uh, twirling this in my hand? Ooh, tough call. And if I, if I put that together with being able to roll it on my thigh, my answer is gonna be probably not. I seem to have a lot more control doing it this way. Exact same process. See, it still rotates and boings off the tip, but you know, maybe power wasn't what I needed for this. Hey, the stick is not bad. Behold the mighty stick. Perfect! Now you too can spin your own yarn using common household items. Uh, or, or not. Anyway, uh, let me know which one you think won. I kind of think it was the mighty stick. Well, so Happy New Year from me and Kaylee, who's sitting here helping me out. She just loves to help me with whatever, thing, uh, whatever I'm working on. Um, I really hope that you've had some fun here, and uh, see you again soon with lots more actual, more than fun content.